Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Flying Sandal channel. Today I'm doing a quick video to help out a friend of mine. Uh, my friend has a drone very much like this one. And uh, this is a Ardu Pilot drone, Ardu Copter. And basically it's on a 3DR frame. Um, it's built with a Pixel flight controller. And the issue that he's having is that he can't get it to spin the motors. He tells me that it's actually arming and that um, the receiver is connected and that everything should be working well, but it's not sending signal to the motors. So uh, there is a hardware safety switch. He's checked that as well. So I'm not really sure what's happening, but I'm going to just outline the steps to troubleshoot and how to know if your flight controller is sending signal to the motors and they should be spinning, right? One of the things that I mentioned is that when you're putting your quad together, or if you want to test it, one way to make sure that things work well is that before putting together the ESCs and the motors, um, you would want to make sure that you power the ESCs and you use something like a servo tester and that the motors spin. And then that also helps you to know if it's spinning the right direction because then you could easily switch out the connectors in the ESC to reverse it and make it spin the uh, reverse direction. So he told me he had done all that, that the ESCs were working correctly, that the motors were working correctly when he just applied power and a servo tester and that they are spinning the right direction. So his issue is in how to make sure that the flight controller is sending signal to the motors. So we're gonna cover that now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Mission Planner and I'm gonna show you how to check that. Okay, so uh, let's switch over to the uh, computer. So here we are on the bench. We have Mission Planner, planner loaded up. I have the drone um, and here's a hardware safety switch so I'm going to go ahead and push that. Now what we want to look for to make sure that the flight controller should be sending signal out to the motors is uh, coming here to the setup, radio calibration. My radio transmitter is turned on and it's bound to the drone. I can see that because the drone has a light on the receiver that is highlighted solid. This happens to be a um, Spectrum satellite receiver, so I have the LED light to tell me that it's bound. So I know I have a connection and also when I come to this screen, as I move the radio and you look at the screen, um, this the, uh, the screen is showing me the input that the radio is sending and what the flight controller is seeing, what it's receiving, okay? So for example, um, switch uh, in this case, switch G goes into channel 10 and the bar for channel 10 is going, uh, is, is showing a value that increases and decreases, right? Now, that's what it's receiving from the radio. But when you look at servo output, that channel 10 is actually mapped, uh, let's see here, to channel 9, which is the gripper. And so when I move the switch, the gripper bar goes up to 1850. And when I flip it again, down to 1300. So that's the value needed for my servo. So because here in this window, it's showing um, the, the output value move, I know that that's what the flight controller is trying to send. So if I go to arm the drone, okay, it's telling me that I won't arm right now. Let's see, why is it not arming? Okay, because it doesn't have a battery. Um, <clears throat> but let me see if I can force the arm. Okay, now it's armed. And if I go into that setup, back to the uh, servo output page, now see the, the, the numbers for values one through four? Okay, it's complaining about the battery being too low. Let me just see if I can quiet that for a second. But basically, as I am moving the throttle up and down, you can see these values increasing and decreasing. Of course, it's not connected, the motors are not spinning right now, but the flight controller is sending signal, it's trying to fly it. And that's the reason we get the alarm because it's saying, hey, I'm flying, but I have no battery. How am I flying even? Anyway, the reason the values are not all the same is because it's trying to, I'm going to disarm. Okay, one second. I think so, we're still flying. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, the reason the values were all different numbers is because, you know, it's trying to adjust and compensate for whatever tilt the drone is seeing. But uh, right now they are disarmed. If I move the throttle, of course, they don't move, right? But let's do it one more time and you're going to see those values 
increase and decrease. So this time I'm going to try to uh, just block the the beeper. Okay, so it's saying that it won't arm. One second, we need to force it to arm. Oh, now it's not letting me. That's interesting. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. Now it armed. And if we go again to that servo page, you see that it's trying to fly and that these values are changing. Okay, so that's how you know that the flight controller is sending the signal out to the uh, to the motors. There we go. All right, well, I hope this helps my friend who I made this video for. Um, my friend, I call him Dinamita. And uh, <laughs> I decided that I would just post this video in case it helped anybody else. So if you don't see those servo outputs move, then your drone is not gonna fly. You need to troubleshoot, you need to make sure you get to a point where the drone can arm. Uh, you may see messages here that tell you what is wrong and why it couldn't arm. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing that you do is, is once it's armed and you're sending um, you know, commands in, in the, for example, in this case, it's stabilized mode, then you should see the servo outputs here show that uh, the plane is in fact, or the drone is in fact trying to fly, okay? All right, well, I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, re remember to like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then you can dislike it. Let me know in the comments if there's something more that you would wanna see more details about. I'm really looking to grow my channel. I'm looking for a little bit of engagement. So if you liked the video, please comment, like, subscribe, that good stuff. Uh, if you liked it, didn't like it, just let me know. If you wanna see something else, let me know. All right, thank you very much and keep them up in the air. Take care.